basically this is the home page of the software here you can see you know all these different things and basically it's your dashboard blah 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 now the next part we have is sonar now this is the main part of getting your audio maximized to its fullest potential you'll see here that there is a bunch of different presets for different audio set audio defaults or audio configurations we have our master we have our master volume right here which you can easily just slide down and it'll turn everything else down we have our game which in this case i have it on a preset of call of duty warzone and the way you can change this preset is either by clicking it and clicking edit or you can come up here to game and you can change the preset by clicking right here and it shows you all these different presets you can have for many many different games now we come back we have our equalizer which is really just going to make sure that we're able to really easily you know hear voices footsteps anything we want depending on the type of preset that we're on in this case i have it configured where i'm able to hear footsteps to the fullest extent now we can come down here and this is where we have our spatial audio Now, the spatial audio is really where we start to get into making sure we can be as immersed as possible into our game to have that full 360 immersion through our headset. We have our volume boost if we'd like. And then lastly, we have our smart volume right here, which basically just makes it where you can keep the volume in a range so that it never gets too loud. So say if you have friends that you'd like to talk to on over the game on Discord, let's say, and they like to talk a lot or they talk too loud, this is what it kind of gets to. You can always ch change the level based off that. Now we can go here, back to here, and you can see there's more than just a preset for games. There's a preset for chat. Chat, if I go and edit and I see what there is, there's balance, there's deep voice, there's different things that can come from. This is usually a preset made for your method of talking to people, talking to friends, teammates, any of that sort. And as for media, I want to make sure that I have it on a preset of Movie Immersion. That is the name of the preset. So next time I watch a movie on my computer, I'm going to have the best quality audio for that. Next, we have our aux, which I have a preset of Deep Bass. So I make sure that when I am listening to music in those headsets, I am getting real deep bass inside the headset to really feel the music at that point. And lastly, we also do have more presets if you want to change up your mic right so we can come here we have balance we have you know some deep voice we have all these different presets that we can come back to and make sure with our mic and you can see even here i have a mic turned down a little bit because i was getting uh some of my friends would tell me that my mic audio was too loud at points so i'd turn it down here and then what do you know all problems are fixed so that is everything you need to know when it comes to adjusting and configuring your headset to make sure you have the best audio for every case scenario there is. Now, other things we can look at is our moment on the left here. Now, this is basically if you want to set it up where um, SteelSeries will capture game clips from your games and you can always be able to see it here in a gallery. I don't like to do this just because I like using my graphics card software instead to clip games. Uh, we also have a 3D aim trainer if you want to get into this. I never got into it too much just because I was a big fan of aim labs. Next down here we have our engine. So this is where you'll be able to see basically any of your gear or any of your devices. Right now the only Steel Series products that I have and I've had connected to this software is the Arctis 7 wireless headset as well as the Arctis Nova Pro wireless headset. So right now I use my Arctis Nova Pro Wireless as my main gaming headset, but I actually just switched from the Arctis 7 because I was going for the most high-end version of a headset that I could find. And lastly, there are some random things like giveaways here. I usually don't go too much into this, but that's totally up to you if something like that sounds a little bit your alley. Now, if we go to our settings here, we have all of our general settings. You can see here things with language, with the engine. We have things with sound, clipping, shortcuts. There's anything you can think of will be in that setting. And then when you're all done, you can come right back to the home and be good to go. I always like to just leave it on this screen and then keep this minimized so that while I'm playing, I can always come back to this easy peasy.